Hi there, in this video I'm going to introduce you the new vertical section we have for modern pages in Sharp Online. So here I am in a modern Sharp Online site. Indeed, as you can see here, this is a communication site. And what I'm going to do is just to modify the home page of this site to add a new vertical section. To do that, I will need to edit the page. Here we go. Um, once I'm ready, I only need to add a new section to my page, my home page. And as you can see here, yeah, let's do a game. I have the new vertical section available. So I can click on vertical section. And as soon as I do that, I have a new full vertical section that is uh, common to all the other sections that I have in the page. That means that I can do a scroll down, a scroll up, and I have my vertical section ready to be um, properly configured with new web parts and so on. So uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is just to add different web parts, such as, for instance, a countdown timer. Here we go. Um, I, I'm going to just edit the web part, and I'm going to add a code to action. Uh, yeah. New company website is coming. And then we can, we can type the URL for the company website. Yeah. Of course, we can also uh, add a background uh, image here. So I'm going to add this one. This is very nice. Open. Uh, yeah, it's adding it. Perfect. And uh, I can uh, add more web parts. For instance, I'm going to add uh, the Twitter one. Here we go. And yeah, as you can see, in this particular case, uh, since the Twitter web part is configured to show uh, three tips, three, three tweets is occupying quite a space in this vertical section. And the last thing I can do, of course, I can continue adding more web parts just to uh, have a very nice uh, uh, home page for this communication site. And as I was trying to say, the next thing I can do is just to uh, customize the background of this vertical section. So I can edit the section and I can choose one of the colors available. Uh, that, uh, as you know, depend on the these colors depend on the theme I have uh, I have uh, applied to to the site. So in this case, as you can see, the this blue is the uh, prevalent color uh, in this theme. So I'm going to use this color for this particular section. Yeah, as as you can you can also tell me that uh, I'm not very good at branding. You are correct. And uh, once I'm done, I can uh, republish uh, the home page. And yeah, here we are. We have uh, this full uh, vertical section in our home page, uh, very nice, that is providing a different look and feel for uh, our modern page in Serpent Online site. So uh, we have the possibility to have a different setup for our modern site. And uh, yeah, indeed, we could uh, call this home site as it was disclosed at the Serpent Virtual Summit and the Serpent Conference North America in Vegas. Uh, last May. Uh, yeah, let me refresh also the page just for a little bit because there are some spaces that are uh, kind of unexpected, I can say. If you ask me, yeah, yeah, now it's working. I have seen this uh, strange side effect in other model page that the first time you publish a page with a vertical section, you you can have unexpected uh, spaces between web parts. I think maybe it's a kind of bug or Whatever. And the other thing I, I want to show you is that, obviously, yeah, uh, you can uh, uh, try to see how this is going to behave on a mobile uh, device. And as you can see here, the new section is just added uh, on the bottom of the page. Uh, so, um, yeah, you're not losing uh, the responsive behavior in your modern site. And that's all. I hope you have um, you have found interesting this video about the new vertical section we have in Mother Pages and Serpent Online. Um, um, yeah, talk to you soon about any other topic uh, about Serpent Online, Microsoft Teams, or any other services in the Microsoft Office ecosystem. Bye bye.